tap. We didn't really need that tail light. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and I am here on Forza Motorsport 7, staring down that wide bodied S15 that we are going to be shaking down today for a possibility of a new drift chassis for ESDA, a new basic base car. So, this car is tuned up to ESDA spec. We're going to be wreck ripping it through the uh, some tracks today just to uh, give it a little bit of shakedown, a little test tuning, and see how it feels. But before I do that, I know you guys have seen a lot of my other Forza 7 videos, my digital cluster. So there was an update on it. There's more things available for that digital cluster. So I want to give it a little rundown for you guys so you guys can get a digital cluster on Xbox One for Forza Motorsport 7. It's actually an amazing feature. So it is only available, I believe, for Android right now. So we're going to get this camera turned on right now. So I got my tablet up right now, as you can see. The app is called Sim Dashboard. I know a lot of people have it. I actually have like the pro version of it. So I have some preset things already made on here. As you can see, it looks like I have just a digital cluster. But the cool thing that has been added to this game now is some of the widgets now work in the game. So of course we have all the different backgrounds and stuff like that. But now we also have RPMs and miles per hour as well as not, we're not going to the app store. We also have gearing and shift lights and stuff like that. So we can actually see what gear we're in and everything now as well as tire temperature, um, tire temps, wheel spins, all this stuff works now. Like it didn't work before, but it all works now. So we also have like fuel gauges and stuff that work, physics gauges for, you know, gas brake and clutch, you know, steering angle and stuff like that. You can set there, you can set your vehicle, your handbrake. You can have timing sections, session sections, maps, and other stuff like that. So it's actually really cool now that they have it, adjusted this but there are some changes that you have to make into forza 7 so we are going to actually turn our brightness up on our tablet so that i can actually see we're going to hit ok on that it's going to be full screen so we're going to go and check mark that go full screen get our cluster put back over in the corner where you guys will be able to see it when i actually get into the game so some of the setting changes that need to be had for the cluster to work in a sense of everything work for gearing and everything like that. So if you watched a previous video on the cluster before, you guys know basically all you have to do is activate data out function on the game and make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi, make sure your IP address matches in the game. There's a setting that you change for your IP address for this and then your IP port. So before we were running on sled, which is just like miles per hour, and RPM. So now they've added car dash, which allows for a full data telemetry output for gearing, tires, like every telemetry item that is in the game is now available to be had on the digital cluster, which is an amazing thing to have now because now I don't have any date gauges on the screen. I just use my digital cluster that's off to to the right of my uh to the right of my wheel. I don't have it behind because um I don't like I kind of can see it on the corner of my eye rather than right below me when I'm driving and also it's easier for you guys to see as well. So we're going to be using that today, which is really cool because it shows the gears we're really big gear numbers. So I know what gear I'm in since I run a sequential. Um, I'll know what gear I'm actually in. And uh, that way I'm not like in the wrong gears when I don't want to be in the right, right or wrong gears. So we are going to take this car out. We're going to take the Lime Rock real quick. Run a shake down at Lime Rock for a little bit. We got to get the uh, wheel cam turned on though. There we go. We gotta close uh, close this from there. All right. So wheel cam is on. We are good to go. We are running our G920 hydraulic cam brake, sequential shifter mod, and our digital cluster right down in the back side of us. So you guys will be able to still see that. So like I said, this is a possible ESDA car. And uh, as you can see, big gauge number, real big gauge number. RPM sweep, RPM lights, gas brake and clutch on the other side for inputs. It's a really cool thing to have now. So I love seeing the really big gauge number. Um, there's a list of games that it works for, but like I said, we're going to uh, be testing this out. I also have the back of the screen flash red when it's uh, 
at, you know, red line. So I can tell if I'm like peeking the car out as we just go into the grass with the S15. So we're just gonna go send it. Gives this car a little bit of a shakedown and uh, see how it goes. It is a pretty awesome sounding S15. Throw that in. I thought I was gonna overshoot that, but we didn't. So, so first impressions of the setup of this car. It's set very soft and set to run at a very uh, high RPM. So I had to adjust my headset for a second. It's And it has so much steering lock that it can catch itself whenever it needs to, which is incredible because this car handles so well. So this car is actually tuned by uh, tuned by a member that I am not going to announce yet. Big things are coming to 2019, so make sure you guys stay to the channel. Some big things are happening in 2019 that I'm super excited to bring to you guys. Not only will there possibly be some wheel wheel rig setup changes, there's going to be some big changes for content as well as stuff for the channel. So this S15 is probably very, very much stable like my Camaro was. Um, but I think I feel a little bit more comfortable in this S15 right now. And uh, been working to get this tune dialed. And uh, it's very good to have a very basically cut and dry car that is good for pretty much any setting or environment that I'm throwing it into. As you can see, I can just throw this car however I want, and it, it has the angle to catch it. Probably didn't need to pull a handbrake there. So I'm still getting comfortable in the chassis, but definitely using a lot less handbrake now with this car. I've been trying to do that recently, change my driving style a little bit to use a lot less handbrake and use more of the weight of the car and uh, little throttle blips and clutch kicks to uh, make a difference. So if you guys like this digital cluster, let me know, give it a shot. It is available for Android devices. I have the pro version. I think the pro version was like five or 10 bucks, but um, the free version does the same. It has a lot of other games that works on Xbox One, but the fact that you can just turn it on, set up a few settings in the game and you have you're rocking a full digital cluster on Xbox One and not having any uh, PC changes or anything like that is definitely a cool thing to have because I know a lot of people asked, you know, how do you have a digital cluster rocking on the uh, Xbox One? Well, this is exactly how I do it. It's very simple, it's very easy to use, and uh, it makes any sim rig that much cooler if you rock Forza Motorsport 7. Uh, I wish Data Out would go into Horizon 4 and stuff like that, but like I said, there's a lot of games that the sim dashboard works. I didn't. I was trying to throw a reverse entry, but it didn't work out. But I can just feather this car. So the S15 is definitely up there right now on top of my list of cars that I want to be possibly running in ESDA. Oh, I tried to get Gangster with a little clutch kick. And that uh, it kind of bit me in the in the backside with that one. So we're gonna switch up tracks. I hit the wrong button, and we are going to maybe we're gonna go rip it at Long Beach section. So I'll see you guys when we set up Long Beach and see how it does in actual Long Beach. All right, so we are at Long Beach. We got it all squared away here. So we're just gonna try and run the Long Beach section in this S15 and see if it uh does the due diligence. So I'm definitely having a lot of fun testing out a lot of new cars for uh, this year's ESDA. Like I said, some big things are coming in 2019. I'm excited to bring to the channel, excited to talk to you guys about here in the near future. So look forward to 2019 for there being some big changes here on the channel. And uh, definitely excited to uh, be doing a full year of uploads because I know this year, uh, there was a lot of times where it was like in the beginning of the year it was kind of eh. So this year, 2019, big year. A lot of uploads coming. Daily content. Probably going to be doing daily content during the week as well as the weekend. So uh, definitely getting 
bigger and bigger into the content game for you guys. So big things are coming. So we're gonna try and uh, run this real quick here and see how this throws down. I cannot see where I'm going. That is the one problem with running in third person at Long Beach. You cannot see where you're going if you are that close to the wall. But for a first uh, first shaky run of the car, not too, too bad. A little bit better than the first time I ever tried ripping that uh, Camaro here at Long Beach. So like I said, Sim Dashboard, definitely an amazing app. And with the update of having to be able to show your gears before, because before you could only do miles per hour and RPMs, now you can actually show your gears. And that was the biggest thing I wanted, is I wanted a really big like gear display because I run sequential mod right now you know it's just I have to I had to have it on the screen I like having this clean screen with nothing on it just the car or if I were to you know switch it up and go in first person I have nothing like on the screen I use just the actual uh, gauges so it's cool to have that because I'm running a sequential mod so we're gonna rip it again no oh, little R for reverse we're gonna start in second gear, try to save on tire spin. Do a little 50 roll. Throw it in. Can't see where I'm going. But we'll make it work. Just tap. We didn't really need that tail light. Probably didn't need the downshift, but little wall tap. Cracking our tail light, we didn't need it. So, like I said, this S15, I'm definitely very comfortable in this car, if you haven't noticed. Um, these probably aren't the best qualifying runs yet, but still working the bugs out. Gotta fine tune this car, get it fine tuned a little bit more for my style, I guess you could say. Maybe change the gearing up a little bit, and maybe switch to the Rocket Bunny Wing. But other than that, this car is pretty dialed, and uh, I'm excited to be, uh, be working with this tuner to uh, help me get a dialed in car for 2019 ESDA. Like I said, you guys will learn more about that in the next coming week or so coming into 2019 with New Year's just around the corner. Hope everybody had a very good holiday and uh, hope everybody got what they wanted for Christmas. I know there's a lot more lot more wheel users out there now. So big, uh, big shout out to all you new wheel users. But like I said, definitely excited to be working with the tuner of this car and some other guys for this 2019 year and uh can't wait to bring you guys all the information all the content i didn't think i was gonna hold that that was a very shaky run but i'm quite happy so <laughs> this car is something else for sure definitely have a blast in this car and uh we're uh rocking pretty decent right now in the uh in the game with this car so like i said maybe some fine tweaks and maybe this car will be what i call what i take to esda this year i'm gonna switch up the road to lana and uh maybe try the road to lana circuit real quick and uh before we end this episode off so you guys know you can find us, follow me on instagram and twitter all of which you find in the description box below look forward to that for announcements as well about 2019 year like i said super excited to make some announcements here very soon but i'm waiting until after the new year to make these announcements I'm very excited and uh some big opportunities for myself as well as for the channel so definitely excited to get the new year underway definitely excited to be uh back on the esda kick with uh potentially a very dialed car not potentially there's going to be a very dialed car in as long as I do my part, the car will do its part. So it's just a matter of me doing my part. And we will have a very decent 2019 ESDA year. So we're going to run this section before we end the episode off. I don't know if my front tires are warmed up. I forgot to turn my tires on. So just to make sure my front tires are warm gonna do a little J turn and uh all right so I think we're good 
We're gonna try and send this here. Road to Atlanta is definitely a not an easy track to bring new cars to. At all. It's uh, somewhat of a difficult car to track to learn new cars at, but I think for a first run out in this car, other than that last turn, not a bad run. So like I said, some fine tuning on this car and this car could be great. There's a couple more cars that I'm gonna be trying and I'm gonna be testing out and shaking down to see which one I'm most comfortable in. But right now I feel this F15 is probably my most comfortable car that I've tried so far. I've tried the MX-5, my Camaro, and now the S15. Gonna be working on some other cars to test out. But so far S15 is definitely up in the running for a uh, most smooth, comfortable car. It was a very bad run through that section, but try and make it up in the keyhole. A lot less handbrake if you haven't noticed. Some clutch kicks. That was very shaky at the end. But so I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. Digital cluster, Sim Dash, Sim Dash Road. Make sure you guys check it out. This is not a sponsored Sim Dash video by any means. Um, and I hope you get what do you guys think of the new of the S15 build? Do you guys think the S15 is better than my Camaro? I want to take your insight and see what cars you guys think maybe I should try. Because uh, I know somebody said the MX5 gave it a shot. Uh, it's very twitchy and very unstable for me. So the, S the MX5 is pretty much cutting out. So um, let me know what you guys think car-wise. You guys think you I should try for maybe a ESDA car? This is a much better run. Except for that dirt drop. Other than that dirt drop, this is a halfway decent run. So until next time, guys, like, thank you guys for coming back. Like, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. <laughs> I'm out. Just banging red line. Oh, I want some.